throw taken by Jerry Daly. Pearson, Koppel. Right at Turner, they're looking for the comeback, and nobody was there to put it back in. Turner then couldn't grab it, and there was no one there to snap it up. But look how close they were to picking up the empties, as the players say. Gordon Hill attacking Rodriguez, the first chance he's had to do it, and he turned him. Pearson! And again, it's spilled out of the goalkeeper's hands, and McElroy couldn't pick it up. Again, the ball came back off Turner, and again, they were let off. That was Hill. The ball through to Pearson. Turner seemed to have it, and he squirmed away, and McElroy couldn't finish it. Turner's hands just in the way. Stokes robbed by Daly. Good ball, and he's onside Hill, and Turner earned the money then, and made up for the two blunders earlier. Southampton were caught, and Turner was quickly out to the rescue. But the United move was promising. Now the carry out for Shannon, a brilliant ball. And Stepney, the most important cup save he's made since the Benfica European Cup final in 68. Stepney then, between United and disaster. Shannon was not offside, and that clearly the most open chance of the match. It was a brilliant through ball. Sending out instructions. Couple. That was nicely played to couple by Pearson. Now Pearson again. A fine, swift, decisive attacking move by Manchester United. Pearson laid that ball superbly to couple. He called for the return. You can see him there inviting it. And then played it first time. Shannon. Right across to Rodriguez. Total miss kick by the captain. But Rodriguez now, twice in the last minute, has arrived up on the right flank unmarked. Total miss hit. Shannon number eight. McCallion. Sharon. Got where he's most dangerous. And nobody closed him down. That's Shannon. Just making enough space. Nobody could get to him. And the shot wasn't all that far away. Stokes. McCallion. Holmes. Stokes. Southampton put it together then. Nicely built up, finally with a shooting chance for Bobby Stokes. McCallion to Stokes, who's onside! One now! Southampton go mad! And on the bench they celebrate, and Stokes by scoring the first goal in this final, wins for himself a car, and he said he'd already booked driving lessons. Now, was he offside when that ball was played? They'll complain for years, possibly, about that, but when he got there, with seven minutes left for play, he slotted it in, played about 30 seconds of injury and stoppage time. has gone and Lally McBenemy and Southampton take the cup for the first time in their history one of the great Wembley upsets and Bobby Stokes the little man who made it possible